Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel where today I'm going to be sharing with all of you my predictions for WWE Extreme Rules this Sunday on the WWE Network. What do I think is going to happen? Who do I think will win their matches? I'll tell you. All right, I'll start with the Raw Tag Team titles, where the Hardys will defend against Cesaro and Sheamus inside of a steel cage. Of course, as you may remember, that the Hardys have returned to the WWE at WrestleMania 33 in that ladder match to compete for the Raw Tag Team titles, which they emerged victorious. And once again, Jeff did his unbelievable leg drop from the ladder. Jeff Hardy is one of those guys who is not only really extreme, but he is, a, he is not afraid of heights. And he proved it. And then they defended it against Cesaro and Sheamus at Backlash or Payback, and they were able to retain the titles. And then after thanking Cesaro and Sheamus for a good match, they turned heel and attacked the Hardys. So, Matt Hardy competed on Raw against Sheamus to determine who get to pick the stipulation for Extreme Rules. Matt Hardy won, and he chose a steel cage. So now we know this Sunday at Extreme Rules, the Hardys will defend the Raw Tag Team titles against Cesaro and Sheamus inside of a steel cage. This is going to be a little hard one, but I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that the Hardy Boys will once again delete Cesaro and Sheamus in that steel cage and render them obsolete. Next is the second championship match, but in the women's division, where Alexa Bliss will defend her Raw Women's Championship against the Hugger Bailey and a Kendo Stick on a Pole match, where of course the first woman to grab it will be able to use it on her opponent. Now, of course, this past Monday on Raw, Alexa Bliss shared with all of us Bailey's life. And then, of course, Bailey heard enough and she went into the ring and attacked. Alexa Bliss, and it looked like she was going to go for the candlestick on the pole early, and it's not even Sunday yet, but Alexa Bliss was like, uh-uh, that ain't happening, and of course, she had a candlestick hidden under the table and just, what? once again, striked Bailey in the back, saying that Bailey cannot get extreme. She just can't. So, my prediction for this match is that I know Bailey is going to give it her all to try and become a two-time Raw Women's Champion, but I'm going to have to say that Alexa Bliss is going to leave Extreme Rules this Sunday still the Raw Women's Champion. Next is the third championship match where Dean Ambrose would defend the Intercontinental Championship against The Miz, but with the stipulation, if Dean Ambrose gets himself disqualified, The Miz will automatically become a seven-time Intercontinental Champion. Dean Ambrose defended the Intercontinental title against The Miz on Raw, and The Miz tried to low-blow Dean Ambrose, but he caught it. And when the referee was looking, Dean Ambrose kicked The Miz in his Hello! Getting himself disqualified. So even though he lost the match, he is still the Intercontinental Champion because titles cannot change hands on a disqualification. So The Miz went to Kurt Angle's office and he gets a rematch. But this time, Dean Ambrose will lose the Intercontinental title if he gets disqualified. So this is going to be a tricky one for me because... A bit of me feel like Dean Ambrose is going to retain, and the other bit feels like The Miz is going to become a seven-time Intercontinental Champion, but I have to pick one, so I am going to go out on a limb and say that The Miz will become a seven-time Intercontinental Champion.
Next is the fourth championship match, where the king of the cruiserweights, Neville, will defend the cruiserweight title against Austin Aries. The first shot for Austin Aries was at WrestleMania, where he had Neville trapped into the last chancery, but Neville had to rake or poke Austin Aries in the eye and then hit him with the red arrow to retain the title. His second opportunity was at Payback, where once again, he had Neville trapped into the last chancery, but Neville had to pull the referee and get himself disqualified to keep his title. This time, Extreme Rules, a submission match. So after failing to win the, the Cruiserweight title twice, I am thinking that Austin Aries will finally get the job done and win his first Cruiserweight title. Next, we got a mixed tag team match where the boss, Sasha Banks, will team up with former Cruiserweight champion, Rich Swan to take on Alicia Fox and the supernova, Noam Dar. Now, not really much to say about this one, except that on 205 Live, when we thought Alicia Fox dumped Noam Dar a week or two later on 205 Live, Alicia Fox just took Noam Dar back after he won his match in the main event. And of course, this past Monday on Raw, they confronted Sasha Banks. And then later on, it was announced that they will take on Rich Swan and Sasha Banks. So, for me, this is going to be a hard one, but I am going to say that Alicia Fox and Noam Dar is going to win this match. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is the moment you have all been waiting for. The Extreme Rules main event, where the Destroyer, Samoa Joe, will face the Roman Empire, Roman Reigns, the Kingslayer, Seth freaking Rollins, the Demon King, Finn Balor, and the Eater of Worlds, Bray Wyatt, in a fatal five-way match to determine who will challenge Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship. Of course, Finn Balor became the first ever Universal Champion after defeating Seth freaking Rollins at SummerSlam with a bad shoulder. But of course, on Raw, he had to relinquish it and had to be out of action for a couple of months. But finally and thankfully, he is back. So this is going to be a hard one because my prediction, well, my two predictions will probably have to be either Finn Balor because he never lost the title and Roman Reigns. So I think one of those two will win the match and challenge Brock Lesnar. But of course, there can only be one winner, so I can't pick them both. have to pick one. So. I am going to go on a limb and say that the challenger for the Universal Championship will be Roman Reigns. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Those are my predictions for WWE Extreme Rules. What do you think is going to happen? Who do you think will win their matches? And who do you think will leave as champions? Let me know down in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video and like to see more, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, I like to say until next time, God bless, take care, stay safe, and welcome to VSWville. Fist bump.